Hi, my name is Sapir, and I'm going to tell you about statistically sender private oblivious transfer from LPN and derandomization. This is a joint work with Nir Bitansky. In this work, our goal is to expand the reach of the learning parity with noise hardness assumption, or LPN in short. And we hope we can contribute to the uh, ongoing research of this problem. It's a long-studied problem, and it's highly related to the well-known problem of decoding random binary linear codes. It's one of the few candidates who are considered to be resilient uh, to quantum attacks. And also, we should keep in mind its twin uh, problem, LWE. And uh, generally speaking, LPN is far behind LWE, uh, uh, both in terms of known applications. Uh, we know how to construct many more applications from LWE and also in terms of hardness results. So generally speaking, we much better understand LWE, but we also want to understand better the problem of LPN. In this work, we focus on two methods, statistically sender private oblivious transfer, or SSPOT in short. This is an oblivious transfer protocol where we really take the round complexity and the security to the extreme. Uh, it's a two-message uh, prot protocol, meaning that each party is allowed to send only one message. And uh, we consider uh, the best possible security guarantees for such a protocol, meaning that the receiver choice bit is kept uh, computationally hidden, while the, the sender second uh, uh, message is kept uh, statistically hidden. This is a very short uh, protocol and very secure, and therefore it's not surprising that it found many applications uh, in cryptography, and especially towards reducing uh, the round complexity of cryptographic protocols, uh, such as uh, proof systems, secure computations, hard problems in statistical zero knowledge, uh, and more. So the question raises up here and that we try to answer in the paper is, can we construct statistically sender private oblivious transfer from the learning parity with noise assumption? And it turns out that generally the answer to this question is yes, uh, we can. And in the paper, we show the following two results. So first, we show that we can construct a two message statistically sender private oblivious transfer in the common random string model using just LPN. And then we show that we can actually remove the CRS uh, using a standard uh, nissan vigdorsson style derandomization assumption. So overall, we get that we can have an SSPOT protocol in the plane model using LPN and derandomization. Now, just let me tell you a bit more about uh, the results. So first, we should mention that there is a caveat to our work, and it is that we rely on LPN in the so-called low noise regime. Uh, but it uh, aligns with our current understanding of the problem of LPN, and I'm going to explain uh, uh, more about it in the talk. Uh, still, this is the first quantum secure SSPOT construction that is not based on LWE. And we use different uh, proof techniques from NWE, uh, and we hope uh, they can be useful in the future uh, research of the problem of learning parity with noise. Thank you very much for listening, and hope to see you in the conference.